A state of emergency has been declared in southern Iceland after another volcanic eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula, the fourth since December. The strong and fast lava flow started on Saturday evening but the flow has been slow and steady since Sunday morning, the Icelandic Meteorological Office, EMO, said. The lava reached the eastern defenses around the small town of Grindavik which were largely evacuated. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said the lava was 200 meters, 650 feet, from a water pipe in the area. The distribution pipe is close to the Svartsengi power plant, a geothermal power plant that provides hot water for much of the Reykjanes Peninsula. The head of the Norwegian Meteorological Agency said there could be dangerous consequences if the lava reached the sea as it flowed southward. Kristin John's daughter explained that if alkaline lava comes into contact with seawater, chlorine fumes can be produced. Another concern, he warned, is that small explosions could occur if the lava becomes unstable when it interacts with seawater. Activity around the gap, which was originally 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles, long, has disappeared. Iceland's civil defense director, Vitter Reynason, said everything that could be done to prepare for the lava flow had been done, and the biggest concern was the impact on infrastructure. Lava pools gathering near defenses are also a concern, he added. On Sunday he told journalists it was possible all roads leading to Grindavik would be closed. The eruption began just after 2023 local time, 2023 Greenwich Mean Time, on Saturday, north of Grindavik, according to the country's summit office. Footage of the explosion shows glowing clouds of smoke and magma flowing and bubbling from earth vents. The blast did not impact the main international airport, located northwest of Grindavik. Geophysicist Magnus Tumi Guðmundsson, who was among those flying over the affected area by helicopter, told local media that Saturday's eruption was the most powerful so far. Two lava flows have moved west and south. Local media reported that lava from the latter had reached Grindavik's eastern defensive walls. Guðmundsson said there was a possibility of lava flowing into the sea, but this was unlikely if volcanic activity subsided. The Icelandic Meteorological Office previously said the lava layer was much more extensive than in February when a previous eruption caused lava to flow in the same direction. Many protective dikes have been built around both, the head of the Reykjavik-based Nordic Center for Volcanology, Rika Peterson, told Reuters. There are concerns that fiber-optic cables on the road could be damaged, causing disruption to telephone and internet services. The lava is heading towards the Blue Lagoon which is closed until further notice as a precaution. There were between 500 to 600 people in the area when Saturday's eruption occurred, Peterson said. In an interview with the BBC World Service's newsroom program, Icelandic journalist Lara Omerstadter said most of the people living in Grindavik had already left the country. When asked whether people would move out of Grindavik, he said many would and about 30% had decided to sell their properties. But there are 10 or 20% who don't go anywhere, he adds, they just want to stay in Grindavik despite this.